Three, two, one, go. What's up guys? So I wanted to show you how I make this coin. It has uh, some texture on it. And it's only, oh, I have one of them here. Where's the other one? So this one is 626 vertices, which is quite small. So I just want to show you how, how I make something like this. So first, I'm just going to add, I'm just going to hide, I'll keep that one there. First, I'm just going to add a cylinder. And I'll just shrink it up till it's something like this. Move it up so we can see it. Alright, so let's validate this and I'm going to uh, go to multi-res and subdivide it. And then I'm just going to voxel remesh it at like 250. So something like that. So now I'm just going to take smooth symmetry and I'm just going to uh, select all of these and just kind of smooth it out a little bit. And if you have the round edge brush, you can just, you can use that too, the round edge tool. You can check that out in my last video. So, okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to name this coin. I'm just going to name it coin X. I'm going to clone it. So I'll bring the clone up, make it a little smaller. Bring it down, maybe a little bigger. Something like that. So now I'm just going to use a Boolean operation to kind of get the, the edge part. So something like that. And I'll take both of them and hide the one on top. And if you're not able to hide the one on top, like if you're trying to press it and these get all silly, then just go down here and uncheck. Uh, so I think it's sync visibility. Just uncheck that. So now let's voxel remesh these two together. And you get something like that. And that's a little too deep, so I'm just going to do it again. Just, just move it, move it up a little bit. Okay, that's a little better. I'll take my smooth and I just, um, you don't need the green anymore because the bottom is not the same. So we'll just use uh, symmetry with the red and blue. And we'll just kind of smooth that out. So now we have that nice ridge. So now I'm gonna hit top. And I made it alpha and procreate. That's all it is, black, square, white, money symbol. Pretty simple, save that as a JPEG. And then I use, did I use stamp? So I'll use the stamp. And once you have stamp, I just go here and import the image. So I just imported it. And then it shows up here. So, and then you just have your little stamp there. So that's pretty much all you have to do. And the side for this, for the intensity, it should be low. Cause if the intensity is high, when you make it, it's going to come up really high. So just keep the intensity low, turn symmetry off. So it should be something like this. And just make sure that it's, you know, sort of in the center-ish or wherever you want it really. So maybe something like that. It's pretty good. I'm going to voxel remesh it. And then I'll just smooth it out again. I think that looks pretty good. So now for the color, the color is a little tricky for gold, like shiny gold, because if you just do, if you do like regular, let's 
Sorry, this thing is being a little weird. There we go. So if you just do that color, it doesn't really look like a coin. I mean, it looks decent, but it's just like not, it's, the shadows are so black. It just looks weird. So usually what I do is I make it a little bit more yellow. I turn the metalness down and I turn the roughness up. So we get something like that. So that's pretty much how I get the gold color. And then I, I'll take paint. And usually when I, when I take the paint, I'll kind of turn the metalness up. Turn the roughness down a little bit. And I'll just do the paint fairly lightly. And I'll just sort of... I'll just kind of paint around certain spots just so it still has a little bit of that that gloss just to give some variety so it's still a bit more glossy in some areas but you know that's just me being a little crazy so once you have that, and I do want this to be on the bottom as well. So I'm just going to take Coinex, clone it. And then I make sure that I have snap at 90. That way I can just rotate this twice. And then bring it down. So literally just bringing it down like this. Now it's on the bottom and the top, excuse me. So now it's on the bottom and the top. So next, I'll just take both of these and box remist them together. I'll do it pretty high. I'll do it at like 500, let me save first. I'll do it at 500 because I wanna put some texture on it. Okay. So now I'll just take my smooth and I'll just uh, do all the symmetries again and just kind of smooth it out a little bit. Again, if you have rounded edge, you can do that, but I don't want to go into like too many tutorials at once. Oops, I don't even have symmetry on. Make my life so much easier. Okay, so now our coin is nice and smooth. If you want it thinner, you can just take the gizmo and make it thinner like that. But it looks pretty good. So if I want to put texture on, I'll use the brush tool. And for the brush tool, let me go down and see what my settings are. So here's an, a, another brush tool that I use, because sometimes I'll just clone it so I don't have to change these settings. But here's my alpha. So the alpha that I'm using is, where are you? Is this shape. So I'll show it to you here. So this is what it looks like. I can't really get closer. I think I can, maybe I can do this. So that's what the alpha is. I think it's like concrete or something or just some sort of texture um, that I found. I brought it in, in Procreate and then just made it black and white. And then I just wanted to set it so only the black, I want the black to, to, I want the black to make an impression on this. So for the mid value, if you press the little question, black, negative displacement, white, no displacement. So that means the black is going to like make the indents and that's what I want. So I'll just bring this to one. And for the scale, scale looks pretty good. You can make it a little bigger. Um, and screen project and this is on repeat. I think those are the, I think that's what I used. Uh, I don't want symmetry, because I want to do everything manually. So I'll turn the brush size up, and I'll turn the intensity down, and let's just see, hopefully this works out. Okay, okay, that works pretty well. I want to make the brush bigger, and then turn the intensity down even more. And then I'm just gonna slowly kind of go over it. just to sort of give it some texture 
make the brush a little bit bigger. So we'll just give it a little texture here. Oh, I see some areas that can probably be smoothed out that I missed. smooth those. Sorry if this thing is shaking. So I'll go back to brush and just add some more texture on the bottom. I'm not really going to be showing the bottom, but just be thorough. I did a bad job of smoothing this the first time. Okay, so yeah, um, and textures are kind of tricky. Like sometimes I just have to, you just kind of have to play around with it. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I always use brush, but you can use it with like other tools. Uh, I always use brush and then I just change the alpha and I, you know, sometimes I have to mess with these a lot until I get what I'm looking for. And also just remember that it's the intensity and the size, uh, th that all makes a difference too. I think if, I wonder if I go closer, if it, I don't know, it's still the same. Okay. Um, the other thing that I that I do when I'm uh, doing things with textures is I'll, I like to just kind of add my own textures. So I'll just take crease, and I like to kind of I'll just smooth it a little bit. I don't I don't want the stroke painting, and I'll just kind of add. Sometimes I'll just add like a little like weathered bits just because you know it just makes it look a little bit more natural so it's not so like clean but yeah i like to add a little bit of like weather to it so if i want to make this i should probably do a separate tutorial just on this so if i want to make this one is 716K, that's how we can get all this fine detail. But if we don't want that big a size of a coin, then here's what you do. So I have my coin X here. So this is just my coin that I did everything on both sides. It's looking good. So all, all you have to do is clone this. So now I have coin X and coin X1. So I'm gonna go to coin X and I'm gonna hide coin X1 because like, that way we don't get confused. So all we did was make a clone of whatever it is that you want to make smaller. Then we go to uh, decimate. So all we did was make a copy. We have coin X, go to this option here. So we have, you know, uh, deci UV. So we just want to decimate and that just like brings the file sizes down. So this is our coin, it's 716K. Uh, the scene is 2 million, which is a lot it's a butt ton that's the technical term term for it so we want to decimate it so here's my decimation options you can play around with them if you want but these are my options decimate once goes to 358k decimate again now we're down to 22 and you see a lot of this detail is sort of lost but that's okay so let's go down again to 11.1. So you see, we continue to kind of lose detail. Um, and now we're at 700. So we've lost all that detail. But remember, we we duplicated it. So we have a copy. We have a high res copy. So coin X, coin X1. So in the same in the same window down here, you have a UV auto unwrap. So that's gonna like unwrap this skin, kind of like wrapping paper. So that's gonna unwrap this. So we do that and have you have some weird thing back here now. So that's this unwrapped. So now we can wrap it again, but we can wrap it with the high res one. So it's like we took off the ugly wrapping paper and now we're gonna wrap it with like the nice clean high res one. So it's in the same spot. You go down to texture baking from high res coin X1. So 
is yours is going to be down here or it's going to be like 10 something um but i always raise mine to the highest it can go and then you just hit from from high res coin x1 so that's the one that's the high res version so we just tap it boom it's going to think it's going to do its thing and then now we have this so now this texture and everything is baked on this low res one this one is still 701 and let's look at the original. So this is the original now. Let's move it over. So this is the difference. So you can see that it's like, I mean, you can't even really see the differences. Sometimes if you decimate too much, you know, like you can't decimate too much. Like if I would have pressed it a couple more times, it wouldn't be able to get all the detail back. But I would say that that's pretty dang good. You know, it's got a lot of detail. This one, 716K. This one, 701. So it's a huge difference. So now I'm just going to get rid of the big one because we don't need it anymore. Um, and yeah, so this is the one. Let's turn UV off. So now that we have this, this is the one that I'll use. Like if I want to make a stack of coins, then... It's easier to, I don't even know how I do that. I guess I would just use uh, add, um, curve, I could do curve, I guess. And then I go to my curve options, and just do this. And let's say I validate, but I want to uninstance. So now we have this, it's blue, but we have all our coins here. So we can just like, you know, if you want to like offset them a little bit, you can just tap on the coin and just kind of, you know. You can kind of offset them. Kind of like that. And the, and the great thing about it is that all of this together, let me make sure I have all of them. All of them together are only, well, I don't know how much they are, whatever 700 times eight is or whatever. So not, not that much, not that many, but you definitely don't want to do this if they're like really high. Like if each one was 20 K, it'd be crazy. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So I think I might split this into two videos, just the baking and then the adding the texture and the baking. So, uh, make sure you go check out the other video too. If you want to see how I got to the coin. Um, you want to see how I made this as a stamp and stuff. All right. Keep drawing. Keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Let's see what this looks like. I didn't even really look at this. I saw like on the, one of my other, one of the other 3D sites, someone made this like in Blender. So I was like, let me make it in Nomad. You know me. Oh, this will be good for the, uh, it actually looks better. The gold looks better with, um, and I can, and I still have a couple I still have a couple lights to spare, so I'll add some more lights to it. But that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you're really serious about learning, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes. Just go to my website, drugfreedave.com. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.